If you want to book more sales calls and scale your business to the next level, you're going to need a solid lead generation system. However, an effective lead generation system requires you to be able to accurately scrape leads, write an engaging cold email, and send a ton of emails a day. This can take a ton of time, which is why a lot of businesses would rather pay money to an agency to take care of that for them. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own lead generation system and how to book more sales calls for your business at a fraction of the cost. I'm in a tool called Clay right now. And essentially what Clay does is it allows you to import leads, personalize out bound to them and send that personalized messaging to your leads at scale instead of you having to do all the manual research and manual outbound by yourself. The goal is to reach out to companies that are similar to that of my website visitors. So in this video, I decided to look alike my website visitors so I could find essentially 10 to 15 people for every one of the people who visit my website, ideally scaling the campaign to much higher heights than you normally could in a conventional email campaign. So what did I do first? Well, first I connected RB2B to Clay, which is a very simple process. I will show you how to do it right now. All I had to do is go down to my integrations tab, go to clay, and then you'll see this webhook URL ready to paste right here. In order to get the webhook that you have to paste into this section, you're just going to go to clay. You're going to click create new. You're going to go to table, go down to webhook, and we are going to just put it in a blank table and you will get that webhook right here. Copy it, throw it back into RB2B. Voila, you have RB2B now connected to clay. From there, we have all this information that we can now act upon to reach out to our website visitors. However, in this case, we are going to find their lookalikes. This is actually actually quite easy. But first, we want to figure out whether our website visitors are actually worth reaching out to. What if they're not part of our ICP? In that case, we don't really want to reach out to them. So in this case, what we're going to do is use a tool called Clagent, which essentially scrapes the internet to find data and tell you whether a company matches that data or not. And in order to find Clagent, just go to add enrichment, type in Clagent, and voila, it's right there. So what I did to prompt Clagent in this case is just say, I'm trying to qualify this person to determine if they're an ICP fit for my business. I fed some information about my ICP, gave them their job title, and then I said, tell me whether they fit this criteria. As you can see, because I selected the output to be a true or false, it tells me either true or false. And you can see I filtered it down to only people that match true. So once that ICP qualification check is done, it's time to go find lookalike companies for the ones that match my ICP qualification. Luckily, this is also quite easy. All you have to do is click add enrichment, go to lookalikes, and then put in the company domain that you're looking for. In this case, of course, the one that's already fed to me by RB2B, and then put in all the filters that you're looking for. So in this case, I put in filters that said the company had to be these companies sizes based in the United States, Canada, or the United Kingdom, and within the professional services or SaaS industries. And from there, it found me up to 10 lookalike companies for every single one of my ICP matched website visitors. So the first part of this table is done, which is we found our lookalikes and we wrote them to yet another clay table. So if we go to the next clay table, here we go. We have every single one of our company lookalikes for our website visitors, all of the companies that are similar to those of the people who visited our website. Now I want to find people who actually work for these companies so we can reach out to them and talk to them about our product or offering. This is quite easy to do. All you have to do is go to add column, add enrichment, and then find people. There's this find contacts at company section. We are going to click save results in a new table, and we're going to put in all the criteria for the people that we want to find. For example, we could type in CEO, president, founder, and from there, all you have to do is click preview, and you will see however many of the contacts that you're looking for populate in this area, and you just go to your next table. So now we have the people who work for the lookalikes of our website visitors, which honestly sounds kind of crazy saying it, but this is actually a pretty solid lead list that you are building automatically based on the people who visit your website. From there, all I wanted to do was find their work email, which is quite easy. You just click add enrichment, type in work email, and here you go. Once that work email section populates, it's now time to create a custom AI generated video that we are going to be sending to these website visitor lookalikes. This is where it gets kind of crazy. So we're going to be using a tool called SendSpark. Essentially what SendSpark does is it creates custom videos that scroll through the prospect's website in the background. AI generates the person's name while we're talking in the video. So let me demonstrate. We're in SenseBark right now, and I've already filmed my video, which you can see right here. I've added my company logo right here. I put the little intro thing right here, and I've put a quick description right here. I also attach my Calendly link to this video as well. And if I actually go back to Clay and type in SenseBark, you'll see the SenseBark ad prospect to video campaign integration pop up. Pretty much what I'm doing is I'm putting in the person's name, their email, their job title, and the company's domain, and I'm sending it to SenseBark. From there, SenseBark actually creates a custom video that's scrolls through the person's website with me saying their name using AI. So I recorded the whole video. And as I was recording the video in the very beginning, I went, hey, watermelon. And the reason I said, hey, watermelon is because watermelon is SenseBark's placeholder for a first name. So I'm actually recording a video of me saying, hey, watermelon. And that watermelon element is going to be replaced by the prospect's first name. So from there, it goes ahead and generates us a custom video. So let me give you an example right now. Hey, Pat Dion, I just wanted to reach out because I was looking at your LinkedIn profile. You seem like a really good fit for our tool. And I 
So you get the point now. It pretty much has their website in the background. It looks like I'm taking a Loom video of me walking through their site while I'm talking about our product. We're then generating that video, sending it back to Clay, and then we finally have the next step, which is sending it to Smartlead. Smartlead is an email sequencing tool, which means it sends out emails at scale using tools like Clay to send the data to the tool. So if we go into Smartlead, all you have to do is go to create a campaign and you're going to put in your variables, which in this case is just, hey, first name, wanted to send you a quick video saying, hey, our little video element, which is of course the video that we've generated using SenseSpark, and then my name. And when we go back into Clay, we're just going to click edit column. We're going to throw in our custom video as the video embed link, and it will embed in the video. And there we go. We have ourselves a custom video that we are sending to the prospects that are lookalikes of our website visitors. If you want the templates for all of these, I will attach them in the description below. So feel free to use these as you please. If you'd like to try Clay out, feel free to click the link in the description. And uh, yeah, happy prospecting.